by far the greatest impact on how the image is going to look is by using art styles or artist names in your prompt. And then the question of course is how to know which styles and which artists are available in Stable Diffusion. Well, luckily there are a couple of wonderful websites that help us out and we can simply find nice styles or artists to work with. All the images in this video will be generated with my default workflow, which is quite straightforward. There's a loader and then a sampler, a latent upscale. There is a face detailer, but in this video it's switched off, bypassed. And then finally there's an image upscale, all quite straightforward. And in more detail, the prompt that we are going to use is super simple, portrait, beautiful woman. No negative prompt. Uh, the Dream Shaper Turbo with six steps is used throughout the entire video. And even more, there is no cherry picking. Every image that we see is generated with seed zero. And because the prompt styler is included in the default workflows, uh, the easiest way to change style is to click it and then select one of the many styles available. Let's just uh, try a couple and see how much impact they have on the image. This is the default image with seed zero and with our prompt portrait beautiful woman. And that is indeed already a wonderful portrait. Now we change style, uh, abstract, and this is what comes out, a dramatic change in the image. Another style, tribal, well that's exactly what we get. And then uh, neon punk, and art deco, really uh, beautiful if you like it. And photography, my personal hobby, a photo silhouette, yeah, that comes out really popping, it's incredible. So far so good. Now the question of course is, with those 100 styles, how do I know how they are going to look like? Is there a way to find that out before trying them all? Well, there is. There is this wonderful website with a lot of information, Stable Diffusion Art, link is in the description. And it has listed uh, 106 styles. They come with uh, two images uh, that show the style and then there's the prompt that is used and that is the prompt that is used in that prompt styler. So you don't have to copy and paste anything, just in this case select cinematic and this is what you get. This works because the prompt styler works with a couple of JSON files. You can find them and even edit them in your ConfiUI folder, custom notes, prompt styler. There you have three JSON files and in the meantime I added my own because you can simply add new styles or change existing styles if you like to. If you would go into a, uh, an editor, text editor will be fine. Uh, then you will see blocks uh, that have a name, a positive prompt and a negative prompt and you can simply edit those to your liking. But the default ones, 106 or 7, uh, they are all listed on that site that we just saw. There are more sites. Uh, one other example is this one, OpenAI Journey. It has uh, about 80 styles with uh, images that show how it is going to look like and with the prompt that was used to generate that style. While the prompt styler is really very handy and quick to work with, it could happen that you would like to have additional styles, different styles that are not yet in. Well, this is another website, Weird Wonderful AI Art, and it lists I don't know how many different styles with an image so that you can already see what it is going to look like. And if you click uh, an image, then what happens is this. Uh, you get an enlargement and you get the text that needs to be used over here. So copy that text and put that text in the prompt. And in this case we set the style on base, so that's no style. 
just add that word that you just copied over there and look what comes out this incredible a uh, charcoal drawing uh, of uh, our base image another example digital art is going to look more or less like this let's put it in our prompt digital art there it is uh, this prompt is still super simple and there's no negative prompt but look what comes out that's just wonderful of course we don't have to stick to the styles that are available on that site uh, we can invent our own uh, i went for mahogany wood carving and then this is what happens uh, you can put in whatever you like anything will work and 8 out of 10 cases it comes out beautifully another site that lists a vast amount of styles and shows them is stable diffusion cheat sheet uh, well there's a whole lot of images and you can immediately see the difference when you use that uh, terminology in your prompt it's quite wonderful and that same site we are now on the notes page but if we would switch to the styles page over there then we get a list of a lot of artists that are known in stable diffusion oh wait a moment it is time for a pub quiz question and um, if these artists don't count can we name six other artists well I bet that people who studied art will be able to but many people <laughs> will struggle to name just six other artists than these six that's why a site like this is such a great help over here there are 875 artists with images and you can click an image like for instance let's click Leonid Afremov then it opens a new window with a couple of images generated in stable diffusion with the term style of Leonid Avramov. If you just click here, it copies the prompt and then we put that prompt here, uh, of course, in our own uh, generator and then look what comes out. Uh, our picture in the style of Leonid Avramov. And if it is this easy, well, well we can just go on and try uh, find, find some pictures that we like. Uh, another style, Henry Asensio. Let's put it uh, in our prompt. Uh, just copy that link uh, or the text, I mean, and this is what we get. It's just astonishing how much impact an artist's name has. Uh, Karel Bach makes these uh, nice, very detailed, intricate, colorful images. Let's put Carol in our prompt. Over there she is. And we suddenly get a quite uh, nice image with a lot of intricate details. And uh, remember, this is still our basic prompt, beautiful woman, with seed zero. Of course, if you create more difficult prompts, then you can, uh, yeah, what you get out the sky is the limit, I would say. And it is not only art, there are photographers uh, too. You can do a search over here, by the way, if you type photographer or photo, then you get only the photographers. Uh, Richard Avedon is a black and white photographer. Let's put him in the prompt. There he is, style of Richard Avedon. And look what comes out. And this uh, turbo dream shaper that is so incredible with skin. This is such detailed skin. None of that smooth plastic stuff. Really, really nice picture. An interesting experiment could be why limit ourselves to naming only one artist let's experiment and name two or three or four uh, this is petro afshar petros afshar uh, this is his style uh, assumably because this came out of stable diffusion and this came out with the same prompt and same seat uh, in the style of jeremy mann let's now uh, just name them both art by Peters Afshar and Jeremy Mann and then this is what comes out a sort of mingling of both styles and that is of course very fun to experiment with uh, let's do uh, another experiment uh, Antoine Blanchard is a painter mostly watercolor uh, Paris scenes mostly positive and vibrant and uplifting and then we have uh, Santiago Caruso who paints a little bit more well grungy and what happens if we mix those two 
just put both their names in the prompt and in this case I uh, exaggerated Santiago Caruso a bit by giving him a positive weight and uh, well then this is the image that comes out that's, that's incredible that's my, I like it uh, experiment with uh, just naming two three four five uh, artists in one prompt it can give very interesting results okay so far for the stable diffusion cheat sheet with the 875 artists there are a couple of other sites all wonderful sites i'd like to show this is the one who might have the most artists uh, on its site there are almost 4000 artists listed on this stable diffusion xl artists list how do i know because still uh, here it says there's a short list with 1900 available uh, let's click it <laughs> when you are there it says there's another list with 3900 available that's where we just were 3900 the only problem with this site is it is very difficult to search you need to know the name of the artist already to get to the images and well of course if you yeah, don't know uh, that many artists and you would like to find some that you really like it is more handy to have sites that have a sort of a search one of those is this one the sdxl artist style studies and here we can click on one of these uh, tags uh, let's say anime and then we get uh, all the artists that are into anime so that is much easier to find one and if we then click one we get a lot of images so you also have a bit more of an idea all these images are generated with stable diffusion we get a quite nice idea how this artist is going to look if we would use it another listing site is the ai prompt guide uh, it has a search and you can click over here to select for instance artists or you can also select styles and then you get a long list of styles and that is uh, easier to search of course uh, the positive thing on this site is if you click that little booklet you get a sort of wikipedia page on uh, information on that particular artist so uh, for study this is also quite nice to learn a little bit and then finally there's one site that cannot miss in this overview of artist uh, collections the hugging face sdxl artist browser well there are not 4000 artists if we look over here there are only a thousand but well that's enough for a first choice i would say uh, if we click them click it off then we get all these nice uh, selectors over here let's say i am interested in uh, black and white photography and then it lists if i click that it lists all the artists that are into that and you don't even have to click on an image just hover over it and you get an uh, enlarged image of that uh, artist and then yeah you can copy it and then put it in your prompt and generate images according to this uh, a vast list uh, uh, many times robots and cyborgs okay these are the artists that are into that very nice browser because of all these tick marks that you can place and that uh, really uh, speeds up your search well this was it so far uh, thank you for watching again and maybe see you back in the next video in the meantime have fun